All right, you've all seen the equation for photosynthesis. We know that plants need water, carbon dioxide, and sunlight in order to make the food that they need to survive. But let's look at this a little bit closer and what goes on inside the plant cell. Inside the leaves of plants are tiny structures called chloroplasts. Chloroplasts have two main parts, the green thylakoids and the space between the thylakoids called the stroma. Photosynthesis actually occurs in two separate reactions. So let's take a look at the first thing that happens when light strikes a plant leaf. When light strikes the plant leaf, the electrons inside the thylakoids get excited. So sunlight strikes the thylakoids and the electrons get excited. The first reactant in photosynthesis is water. Water gets split. It gets split into oxygen and it gets split into hydrogen. That hydrogen is used to make cellular batteries that provide the energy for the next reaction which does not rely on sunlight energy. The next reaction is called the light independent reaction or the Calvin cycle. It occurs in the stroma and this is where carbon dioxide actually gets fixed into a compound that eventually becomes glucose, which is food for the plant. The chemical batteries get used up and get cycled back into the thylakoid membrane for the cycle to start all over again. So the two reactions for photosynthesis are the light, end, light dependent reaction, which occurs in the thylakoid membranes, and the Calvin cycle, which occurs in the stroma.